What's up, Super Training family? In SEMA here. Now, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about something that I believe is very, very, very important if you're trying to get bigger. Because let me tell you, I've seen some guys that have worked out for years and years and years. I see them in the gym. Maybe they're doing more weight. Maybe they're doing the same things, but they don't seem to be growing. And they're missing one essential aspect of lifting. And that aspect is something that we love to call the mind-muscle connection. Yes. You see, a lot of people in the fitness community think that the mind-muscle connection is bro science, that it doesn't exist. But I'm here to tell you that it's very important, and if you can get a handle on this, you'll be able to do freaky shit like... You see what's going on there with the lower back? See how weird that is? I'm able to do that because I've been able to train utilizing the mind-muscle connection. Now, I'm gonna to talk to you about the top three ways to increase your mind-muscle connection in this video. And if you're able to do this, if you use some of these tactics, I guarantee that you're gonna be seeing growth in a lot of different body parts. You see, the first important thing about the mind-muscle connection is you need to slow down a little bit. Now, when doing movements in the gym, we all wanna do something really, really heavy. We all wanna look impressive because we're trying to impress ladies, but we usually end up impressing other dudes. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. But the big thing is we move weights that we shouldn't be moving. So an example is, oh God, these 100 pound dumbbells that I have, right? A lot of guys try to move heavy weight and they move it really fast, but then they also get a lot of activation of muscle groups that they're not trying to focus on like the triceps or the shoulders, and they don't feel it as much in their chest. So what's the first thing you need to do to increase your mind-muscle connection? Slow down the tempo. Now by slowing down the tempo, you're also gonna be forced to lower the load you use because you can't use heavy load with a slow tempo. But what that's also gonna do is it's gonna decrease activation of other muscle groups that you're not trying to work. Specifically in this movement, the triceps and the shoulder, you'll be able to get more chest activation. Now, the second biggest way that you can increase mind-muscle connection when training in the gym is something that I really don't see done often nowadays anymore. And when I see guys lifting, I see them lifting with a lot of momentum, a lot of, you know, grunt. But if you wanna increase mind-muscle connection, the second thing that you need to do is pause at the peak contraction of the movement. So once again, by pausing at the peak contraction of the movement, what this is gonna force you to do is, like before, you're gonna have to lower the load because if the load is too heavy, you're not even gonna be able to reach peak contraction of the said muscle group you're trying to work. But also, you're able to bring more awareness to that muscle group here, being my lat, while you're working it out, increasing and helping out your mind-muscle connection. So this last tip is actually my personal favorite because it requires you to touch yourself. Or if you have a training partner, it requires you guys to get a little bit intimate with each other. Now, this is something that I don't see many people doing in the gym anymore, but I think is super duper useful when trying to increase your mind-muscle connection. Now, when you're doing a movement, let's say it's a chest fly or maybe a rear delt raise, you wanna touch the muscle group that you're trying to work. Because what this does is it increases something fancy called proprioception. It increases your awareness of what that muscle is doing in space. And by having your training partner touch the muscle group you're trying to work, it'll help you be able to activate that muscle group better because you're more aware, aware of the muscle group you're trying to work. So now when somebody comes up to you and they mention, my muscle connection doesn't exist, it's irrelevant, me, me, me. I first want you to pity them. And then I want you to pray for them. And then I want you to give them the gospel of the mind-muscle connection. Send them this video or maybe just give them the tips that we talked about in this video. Now, if you like the video, please like the video because it helps out the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below if you have any questions for me about the mind-muscle connection. If there are any videos you want us to talk about here on the Super Training channel, let us know. This is Nsima Eang from the Super Training Gym. Strength is never weakness. Weakness is never a strength. I'll catch y'all later.